Let's look at our equation of 7 times 200. The bar model is already done for us. 7 groups of 200. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now let's break it into easier to multiply pieces. 100 goes into 200 twice. There are 14 groups of 100. Let's look at our equation. 7 times 200 is rewritten as 7 times 2 hundreds. Break it apart! Hundreds? How many times does 100 go into 200? Two times. Now let's multiply within the parentheses first following the order of operations. 7 times 2 is 14. Bring down the times 100. 14 times 100 is 1,400. Notice how you can use our patterns of zero method on paper or in your head to obtain your final answer. Now let's work with some bigger numbers. Let's read our equation. 67 times 5,000 is rewritten as 67 times 5 thousands. What do you think we should break 5 thousands into? A thousand and how many times does 1,000 go into 5,000? Five times. Now, following order of operations, we need to multiply within the parentheses first. 67 times 5. Stop your video and do your long multiplication. Excellent! You've arrived at 335. Let's continue with our equation. 335 times 1,000 is 335,000. Let's try a more advanced problem. 18 times 6,000. Which number do you think we'll have to break apart? 6,000. If you need to, write 6,000 out in words to easily see which pieces we will be breaking it into. 6 and 1,000. 6 times 1,000 is 6,000, which confirms that we have done our breaking apart correctly. Now let's go ahead with the order of operations and multiply within the parentheses first. Pause the video and do your long multiplication. 18 times 6 is 108. 108 times 1,000 is 108,000. Let's check for understanding. Here is your first question. Copy it onto your paper and record your results. Here's question two of your check for understanding. Record your results on your paper.